Hey, this is Dylan Johnson. I'm on the Feed High Performance Team. We are here in Emporia, Kansas at the Unbound 200 Gravel. I've done it four times, and the fifth time is a special time if you can finish, because if you finish five times, you're part of the 1,000 Mile Club. So what's gotten easier about the Mile I don't think anything's gotten easier. I, the first time I did Unbound was the was the slowest I've ever done it, but it was actually my best placing, which kind of just goes to show how the level of competition, how it's gone up every single year that I've done it. The first year I did it was 2018. What's gotten harder? The competition. The competition just keeps going up every single year, and I don't think this year is an exception. Uh, is there one thing that you look forward to most about Unbound? Um, I think it's got one of the best race atmospheres of the Grand Prix. I mean, there's so much hype around this race. Uh, there's so much attention on this race. Usually the, you know, everybody is constantly hounding me about the YouTube video that I'm going to make after I'm done with it. And with how slow I make YouTube videos, I get a lot of messages in the following week and a half. Um, so. I don't, I, I actually, some for some racers that's stressful and I, I get that, but I actually kind of like it. Uh, what's, what's your strategy for pacing an effort as big as Unbound? Yeah, I, I think I've gone with different strategies on this in the past. There have been years where I've tried to pace it very evenly and it's a little bit tricky because there's a lot of drafting. So it is kind of helpful to stay with the front group as long as you can. I think with this year, we're looking at probably a repeat of last year with the mud situation. Um, so honestly, staying with that front group is just gonna be, it's just gonna depend on how well you can get through the mud. Um, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it'll be fine, but I, I kind of doubt it. And if I'm not with the front group, I'm gonna resort to an even pacing strategy. If I'm with the front group, I'll I'll try to play it smart, but obviously I'll I'll kind of the pace will be dictated by what they do. Uh, what's your headspace like during the race, um, and how do you manage the ebb and flow of motivation? Yeah, I this is I think this is actually one of my strengths as a racer is kind of my mental attitude while racing. I don't easily give up while racing, which I think is very important for Unbound. I think a lot of people mentally give up at a certain point when they're out there for so long and they've been hurting for so long and it's hot and they've had multiple flats and they're cramping. Um, my mentality is, is always push as hard as I can to the finish, no matter what race situation I'm in, and I'm pretty good at doing that. So I think being in the right headspace is actually, I, I think, an advantage for me. I usually don't struggle with that. What is the significance of this race fit in with the rest of your calendar? Uh, do you consider this a pretty key event? Yeah, this is this is the most important race of my season. I, Leadville's second, but just with, like I was saying, with the amount of attention on this race, I actually think that the course suits me pretty well, mostly just because I, I seem to do better in longer events, and obviously this race is really freaking long, so uh, I like it a lot, and, and there's just, there's just so much attention around this race. It's, it's definitely the most important one of the year. So last year I finished 17th, which is pretty typical for me. Uh, but a 17th place finish here versus a 17th place finish at, I don't know, the Rad or something, uh, which I think I also got 17th at the Rad. <laughs> uh, they don't compare because the competition level is just so much higher here. So I was, I was actually very happy with that finish last year, especially because I didn't get through the mud section that well but the rest of the race went really well for me. Um, so I, I would be very happy with a top 20. I'd be extremely happy with a top 15. Top 10, I'd be over the moon. Uh, better than that, I don't even wanna, <laughs> I don't even wanna talk about. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Yeah, thank you.